if you've read it before, I encourage you to read it again because sometimes we might have read this amazing book. Yeah, and we these just put it on the shelf. Little kittens right here. They're uh, the wisdom that was there. And they're about twelve to fourteen days it. old, and I just now, so just now discovered them. And uh, things, they were just uh, you uh, running around, having a good life. time, and you nursing really a little bit to with their mother. And Perhaps go get this book <laughs> said, again. Go look for it on your bookshelf. And start to make a path. I had just a, picked the mother the up. Hit her a little bit. And then I put her so down. And then I looked back. And there was these and if little you kids. Do, if you really choose to move forward <laughs> with awareness. And you live with this intention. And I was expecting I to see them. The drama will just be nearly born like. And I they were already good sized little kids. It's not just a theory. Like go oh, you know good luck to you guys. I hope if you read that it might help. I literally have lived my life in this way to where this took quite a process. And where you see these two are today, from uh, one of my and having wisdom cats and that's had several so already. Peace and that ease was quite a journey to get to this place. She's about a two and year so old if cat. you don't compare with that, their mother's about two year old cat. Honor and reverence for it. <laughs> and whereas and the mother of those two kittens is only, you, only uh, you, less than a year old. This understanding and this embodiment. That is really going to be the swiftest path for you to step in and embody this in your own way. So rather than if we see someone that's got it figured out and they understand something, yeah. and we're just jealous of them or we're frustrated by them or we feel like we're going to let them down. And so we start criticizing ourselves. If we can just look at those who are, are really shining, look at those <laughs> who have figured oh, something out and they're mastering it again. and feel honor for the fact that they're in our life, we feel honor for the fact that they're mirroring to us the guidance still doing and make good. use of it. Rather than waste your energy being jealous or petty or competitive, <laughs> oh, it is well, such a distraction. Sounds so good. And your ego nice wants and that. Healthy. Your ego nice wants and you to suffer. Too. It wants you to compete. It wants you to compare. It wants you to think you're better than. It wants you to feel less than. <laughs> oh, it that loves cute? suffering. So one of the first things there you go. I don't you like that? In our shows oh, you say that, that thing's a little bit cold this, this morning. We can laugh at our gorgeous. ego. We can hear it for what it is. This nasty little vicious voice inside that is always hungry and is always yeah, wanting us will. to suffer and we stop feeding that energy we stop buying into it we stop giving it energy we stop catering to it and we start to tune in and really honor the intuition we start to honor ourselves. we start to look at you know rather than me worry about where everyone else is how am i doing today you know, I feel like I'm doing really well, even though I'm not mastering that yet. I'm on a path to understanding. Every day I'm getting better. Every day I'm a better painter. Every day I'm a better listener. Every day I am becoming more compassionate, more understanding. This is going to help you have leaps and bounds forward in your evolution compared to sitting there saying, oh, why are they doing it and I'm not doing it? How come they have money and I don't have money? Yeah, How come she's got to figure it out and I don't? Oh, I don't come like here. her. I don't Give even want to be around her. She's too perfect, and so I don't even like that. I'm just going to go and, you know. Oh, and, you know, yes. I got a couple of new lovers here. G Give me some kisses, lovers. All these things we choose are very Oh, much what will I do with all this love? And it's going to help us grow and evolve and love ourselves or the dialogue in our mind is causing us to feel enslaved. Yeah, y'all are going to be a nice little kitty. Um, victim consciousness. So, the book, in the book, there's these four Sweet agreements. Babies. They're pretty damn awesome. And they are not as easy to master as they may sound. But I tell you, if you focus <laughs> every day with awareness on making sure that you are following Boy. these, maybe... Print them out and put them on your bathroom mirror. See, yeah, right I know journal. everybody would want but this as one. As you practice <laughs> living in the alignment with these agreements, it will profoundly shift your living experience. It yeah, you want this one, but you and can't what, have it so because it's too cute. And I love it. Any, <laughs> um, any weight, it will not have any power in your life. Anymore. This one's going to get so real cute, too. Be impeccable with your word. I cannot tell you how many people I observe that struggle because they do not have integrity. I have had clients that do this. I have family members who do this. I see people at the grocery store do this. Unfortunately, on our planet, humans really like to lie. 
And they do it because many of them, most of them, are not truly living in their power. They're not being authentic. <laughs> so when something comes up, they say yes to a lot of things. And they really should. Yeah, to I think no, I'll keep him. He's so cute. Answer in a way of, you know, let me see how that flows. <laughs> I'd love to come, and if I can, I will. But what humans need to work on is really owning their power. This one. And knowing that they have a right to choose what they a want little to do. calmer. And when they Usually say these brown and white ones are pretty high strung. He will be when he gets older. Then follow through with it. Because what I've observed is the humans that say stuff like, oh, I'm going to help you with this, or, oh, I'll be there for well, you, that's I'll unusual. give you this, I'll pay you money for that. If you're going to be a calm, these things, and then white tan cat, it that would be unusual. Damage. And you're going to be nice and quiet. And distraction and chaos with all the people <laughs> in their life that are actually counting on them. Well, these, so these calicos like this, though, they... a person that continues to say they're <laughs> going to do something, and they don't follow them through... They start to create a reputation where no one believes in them. No one counts on them. No one, you know, it's like people just kind of expect, oh, Sally I got one it. calico yeah, that, that still runs. And it's because they're when not showing. In, uh, the only one like that. Like, All the rest of them, they come up any time. It's that so one I calico. I think integrity is huge. They stay real skittish. Integrity is so important, not only to the others that you're, you're sharing your movie with. That calico, with, when it was born, it so I didn't find it yourself. until it was... It is important for you to trust in yourself, for you two or three, to about have three months old, and and for you to, I think before uh, I found it, I saw it two, three months. So if you practice being impeccable with And then with your it runs so hard that I never was able to really... You're going to really feel things out before you that's the only cat I got. It's like and all the rest of them. I play with them every day. And so I can pick them up any time. That way I can... I'm able to take them to whatever I need to do to take them wherever I need to take them. This thing came up and, you know, I couldn't end up coming even though I committed to coming. Or, oh, I really wanted to help that person out, but then, oh, something distracted me and you know, or my husband wouldn't let me or whatever. And they start to blame and project their issue on other people. You want to make sure you give them a little attention them. every day. And that way you won't never have any problem. And <laughs> you can pick them up anytime. You won't, you know, they won't try to scratch or anything. Level, we desire <clears throat> to come back into our power. We desire to feel capable and to feel that we have. I can take these uh, adult cats and so if you're practicing, turn them. And um, hold them like this, this, this way, and, not and even this not way, and, and they, uh, you know, there's no the problem, truth, even the adult the cats, truth, bending it, because uh, I uh, give them attention every relax. day, and so I can hold them in, and and hold them in my you're arms, teaching and, people to realize you're a liar, and, and uh, give them attention however I want to. And you're teaching yourself that. And that is not a good thing to teach yourself. Some people will say, they'll say, uh, they'll have the, I have all these cats and they'll say, well, I just hate that because I can't even pick them up and pet them. And I say, well, when they're kittens like this, you got to give them attention every day and then you won't have that problem. This one can be very tricky for people in the beginning because so much we have been taught to, you know, react to people. I had a woman, a really beautiful soul that just came and she drove really far. She drove hundreds of miles this weekend to come up and have an work clearing with me. And she came to one of my Empowering the Empath workshop. Oh, the next day, her and her They start out naturally like real gentle, but, like they're going to get, they, uh, like but they'll get wild if no, you no human but ever, uh, woman, you know, ever picks them up. And clearing, I, you know, explain to if her, you don't pick them up and play with them, well, they'll just go back to being to kittens, and to being cats, and they'll, uh, you know, of course, claws come out and everything to protect themselves. To and come up to the surface so, so that you, you have can to, address them. You can feel if what you, you're uh, learning from them. Pay attention to them like this when they're they're young, though. So in an order, you'll never even know they got claws hardly unless you see them climb a tree. What it is is you're starting to be trained to see in a new perspective. You're having a lot of heaviness cleared in a because the they will never come out when you pick them up of, or anything. And it's bringing up all this energy that you have not addressed. So the reference that I get, the angels kind of give me a visual is when you're having a clearing. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> lifetimes that you've been pushing and pushing and pushing Are y'all getting down tired below the surface because you didn't want to feel <laughs> after that. a while. They'll that, calm oh, down and go to that. sleep. Let's push that down. Ooh, that made me angry. Let's push that down. And so. As you go through a clearing process, it's like you float on your back in the water 
and all these buoys of energy that you've been pushing under the water and you've been struggling and wrestling to keep them down and protect them so no one's you didn't there. There and make a real Suddenly good picture <laughs> excuse me you're floating on your back and then i won't have to bother the you again for a long all time those pop to the surface because you can't hold them down as far as now to a soul goes. that's not practicing awareness this could feel like chaos and it could feel very stressful but if you're practicing awareness, when it pops up, whatever those emotions are, those energies are. Oh, yeah. All you I'll have probably to do pet is these kittens them, every day. They see them for so what they cute. are, their energy. Oh, that one right energy there. <laughs> they're holding down. Whoa. For a long time. That Look one is so cute. Energies. What are you here to teach me? What is this? So, interestingly, <laughs> this woman oh. I'm referring to, she had, right after her clearing, a woman from her past who she had made very yeah, clear yeah, go away. To, who had had a reputation of kind of like slandering her name and was this kind of one reaching out to her get that other and texting them be things that were cute, cute too. And the intention, it sounded like from the way she expressed it to me, <laughs> it sounded like the intention was to talk yeah, about a harm and destruction for this woman because she had set a boundary and said, I don't want you in my life anymore and I just don't feel like you treat me with respect. You're not being, you don't have integrity. And I just really don't need this in my life anymore. So she made a statement about a month ago, I believe she said. And then after her clearing, this woman shines back in and she's sending texts to her husband and to her sister and to her friends and family. And she called me today and she's like, holy crap, like, what the hell is that about? I better get y'all back to your mother it. before but she, she like, forgets about it. she's like, this is just crazy. It. Like, I don't understand what is happening. Like, what's going on with this woman? And what I told I her was, to we could play the game of what's going on inside of every human's mind. And that could be quite entertaining and take a long time of, to process all that. You got to be careful. Sometimes your mother's old. You looking out of the eyes if you pick them up and, with all them, and keep them too long, lady? like what the hell? What's making her act crazy? Play with them several if hours or something. Inward. Okay, what is this? <laughs> the other side. Oh well, you know if you're going to be the nurse <laughs> and uh, do my job for me, I'll just take off and go fight somewhere. You know, and then you forget about it. So you have to be careful and don't keep them for. Trail. Too long this at a time, and for the first month, so they get you know five or six trail. weeks old, so and then you see it for what it was. Yeah, after that, it's one of those buoys she had stuffed down because she didn't know what to do with it. Well, boop, it's right in her face, and instead of getting angry and slap, you know, thrashing around in the water to try to get it away from her. If she could just look into it, which we did together, look into that and say, what is this energy representing and why is it coming up again? And I've okay. had a few of them. I now realize I was to pick their cats up theory. and come and, and, uh, and drop them right over beside me and then take off like, so okay, you it. take over now. I'm tired of it. <laughs> <from what laughs> but I've that learned don't learned happen too often, but I've had that happen a few times. And they'll, just bring, they'll bring a couple of them. They might keep a couple of them. They'll bring a couple of them over and say, you take a couple of them. I don't need to do any excessive energy. All I need to do is learn from and that, That'll work all right if they're six or eight weeks old because then you can start them on, you know, kitten chow and stuff like that. But if they're too young, the first four to six weeks, this doesn't work very well because they have to have that mother's you milk no to develop proper immunity. You are and so it's important that she uh, it, stays affectionate it toward them and, and stays attached to them the for that, that first six woman, weeks. I told her the simple way to look at humans, if you don't want to have um, and then get angry at them, is look somewhere at between it six weeks and eight weeks. Lashing out and being uh, if, if the person you give them to has a good a setup for good kitten chow, has a good kitten chow and everything, totally you can take them in and then play with them every day. And, and oh, well, that's optimum because they'll have a better attachment that way. And if you wait, to, if you wait till like they're three or four months old before they, you know, give them away, well, to somebody will then. And now you're fighting it's back not always. All of them are different. Some of them, it don't make a difference how old they are. They'll still just adapt real quick. But there's others that once they get three or four, once they get three months old, if they're not attached to you by then, they, they never will really get closely attached to you. And some of them won't do it at all. She feels afraid and she feels rejected because this friend said, I don't want you in my life anymore. You're not treating me with respect. 
I'm setting a boundary. So but I think I don't think I'm going to have any like problem with these two. Person. They're going to be, oh, I mean, tell no you, control. they got energy. What does ego do when it has no control? I think they're going to be a really nice. It's going to say hateful things. It's going to be 